Hey guys, what is going on? I hope all of you are having a beautiful day today. So, today's video. The Galaxy Fold 2. It's quite, I mean, I'm gonna say it right now. I already know this phone is gonna be my favorite. Because all the phones that are coming out from this point onward, you know, uh, they're just your basic smartphones. And it's nothing really too crazy about it. But this phone, man, the fact that it can do this, it wins. It wins. I don't care. If you guys want to see my first impressions of the Galaxy Fold, definitely click the card up top. So the one thing I've noticed about the Galaxy Fold 2, along with, uh, you know, everyone that has eyes, not even two eyes, just one. One eye will be good enough to notice this. The camera system on here isn't exactly what the Galaxy Note 20 uh, Ultra offers. It's way more subdued. So how does it compare against the iPhone 11 Pro Max from last year? Now, I gotta say both of these phones, the iPhone and the Galaxy Fold 2, offer uh, some pretty cool tricks up their sleeves. So uh, stick around. To make life a little easier for you guys, the iPhone will always be on the left hand side and the Fold will always be on the right hand side. So the one thing I was very shocked about is, is that uh, Samsung was always known for having very saturated and contrasted colors, but it looks like the iPhone and the Galaxy Fold 2 really switch on each other a lot. Sometimes the iPhone takes the more saturated photo and sometimes the Fold 2 does. The main differences you guys are really going to notice is the differences in how the phones handle HDR. I'll just go ahead and say this right now, the Galaxy Fold 2 takes much better HDR photos by really raising the shadows so you get much more information in the dark parts of the photo. So I'll just go ahead and shut up so you guys can focus on the photos to see which you like best. Uh, so by the way, if you guys want to skip to the video test, just skip to the timestamp that is on the screen right now. So both of these phones are recording in 60 frames per second. I'm walking about, I don't know, I'm walking fast enough to sweat in Florida, okay? Which doesn't take much, surprisingly. Actually, no, it's not surprising. But yeah, how does it look like? How's the HDR? Hopefully I don't get eaten by an alligator. So what you guys are seeing is still 4K60, but the iPhone has a trick up its sleeve. The iPhone can do 4K60 using the ultra wide lens. Meanwhile, on the Galaxy, um, at, well, actually any Galaxy, you cannot do 4K 60 on the telephoto or the ultra wide. So you get much more information in shot on the iPhone when recording 4K 60. So this is 4K 30 ultra wide. So this is 4K30 on the iPhone. I'm sweating, yeah, it's Florida. Get used to it. I've been telling that myself for a long time, 20 years, it sucks. Anyway, so how's the stability on the iPhone at 4K30? How's the background? That sky's blown out, I already know that. Don't, don't need to tell me. Um, yeah, here comes the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, or the Galaxy Fold to 4K30. Front facing camera. Front facing 4K 30 Galaxy Fold 2. How's it look like? Is it stable? Why am I talking like this? I'm still sweating and I'm still thirsty. Not much has changed in the life of Mark. So now the iPhone 4K 60, the sky is blown out. For, uh, iPhone cannot handle uh, super mega crazy super duper Superman HDR using 4K 60 in the front camera. That sky is blown out. At least that's what it looks like on screen. I don't know how it's going to be when I'm editing the video. So hopefully it looks good. Hopefully it's nice and stable. And 4K60 Galaxy. Look at that. Look at that. The clouds are a little bit blown out right there on the top. But hey, you can actually see the sky. Unlike the iPhone at 4K60 front facing camera. And I think it's, I think it's also more stable 4K60 front facing camera on the Galaxy as well. As opposed to the iPhone. 
Dude, you couldn't pay me to go in there. Hang on, I gotta show you guys this. Hang on. This is all the front facing, by the way. This is front facing. You couldn't pay me to go in there. You wanna know why? I live in a state where if you go into the woods and you don't know what's there, you might not come out. Okay? You might not. No one knows. So now I'm using the Galaxy Fold um, ultra wide camera on the rear, but I'm also using the front screen as a viewfinder. That's right, you can do that. Let me show you guys. So yeah, you guys probably can't see this, but I'm recording myself using the ultra wide lens right there, but I'm also, I can actually see myself down here. So you can actually use this as a pretty cool little vlogging rig if you really wanted to. I mean, this looks great. Hey look, more rich people having fun. That looks so cool. Give me your money. I need money. Whatever. So, how's this look like? Obviously, you can you cannot use 4K 60 using the ultra wide on the fold, but this is 4K 30, and as as long as it's, as long as it's uh, stabilized, it shouldn't really matter if it's 4K 60 or not. So, hopefully, this looks good. So what do you guys think? I think both of these phones are, 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 are fantastic. They are fantastic, okay? But I really love the uh, the viewfinder on the Galaxy Fold 2. So like, like, like I said in the video, if you guys want to uh, take a quick vlog or something, you can actually see yourself perfectly using the ultra wide camera. You don't have to uh, wonder what is in frame and what is not in frame. Uh, it's not exactly comfortable to hold the phone that way because uh, the main display is still on. So if you're touching around back there, you're going to be spazzing out the video. So if you hold it like you're holding, you know, like it as a whole, it's not going to be a problem. So if you, if you just want to take a quick few videos, dude, you're going to be good. But in terms of videos, yeah, iPhone still wins, man. Uh, the, 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 the fold, you know, it, you cannot do 4K 60 on the ultra wide or the telephoto. And whenever you are shooting 4K 60, as you guys saw, there are, there's like very sharp shutters going from like left to right. Uh, it seems like it's more stable, uh, stabilizing the up and down movements of, of you walking. But in terms of like, if you take a, you know, a little turn, it's going to like stutter a little bit and then go back. It's very, very weird because as you're recording, it doesn't look like that. It looks super stable, which was which was you know out why I was like, oh my god, it looks good. But then when I put the video into the computer, I was like, oh, ouch. And the selfie video of 4K 60 is also not that good on the on the full too. Uh, very juddery, very uh, jumpy all the time. Just weird. Uh, but yeah, in terms of HDR, even on video, yeah, the uh, the full two is much better. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, click the like button down below. And if you are new here, consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon so you'll be notified every single time I post a video. That's it. This was Mark from Mark's Tech. Adios.